There he is. As Josh Scott with Josh Scott Outdoors, um, I got something really cool to show you guys today. I've got the Rick's Pocket K2 RIX. This is a thermal optic scanner that's not a night vision scanner, it's a thermal scanner. Um, the video that you're about to watch, uh, the first part of it is I'm going to show you what we were looking at in the daylight. Uh, my buddy Mike owns Singer Creek Whitetails, and we went up and uh, we went up to check out the farm. Uh, I've been up there before. We went up again. So the first part of the video is going to you're going to see some uh, see the bucks we were looking at. One of them is either the number one or number two largest typical eight point buck in the world. Well, I say one or number two, number one or number two, because they haven't measured him this year. In about a week, they're going to measure him, and we'll know he's probably going to be the biggest. If not the biggest, he's the second biggest typical eight-point buck in the world. So I've got a little bit of video of him to show you, and then at the end, it's going to actually show you this at night. Uh, the first bit of footage was taken at about 200 to 300 yards away, um, and then the second part of the footage, we actually drove up on the deer. Now, a couple things. We compared this to another much more expensive optic. I'm not going to name drop here. We're talking about Rick's. Um, but even with the five times more expensive, this thing held up really, really well. Um, there was a few differences as far as like when you zoomed in from that 200, 300 yards away, the other one obviously had a better zoom. Um, but again, we're talking five times different the price. And the only other thing that really we could tell a difference is the more expensive one, because the, the bucks had already shed their velvet, you can't see the antlers with this, which, you know, there's no heat signature in antlers. Whereas on the much more expensive one, you can make it out. Um, but I, man, this thing, I'm really pumped about this thing. Um, it was fantastic. I did not think when, when I first turned it on, it wasn't even dark yet. It was right at sunset, right at, you know, starting to get dark. And this thing was fantastic. I cycle through, it's got a couple of different, you can do like, you can do the bright white, um, you can do the where the animal looks black, and then you can do it where the animal looks red. And I'm really, really pumped about this thing. So stay tuned, watch the video. You'll see a little, foot, little bit of footage from the daytime, and then you'll see some footage at night. I hope this video helps you guys make a decision on this, and I'll put a link down in the description if you want to pick one of these up. These things are fantastic. There he is. It's sandstone. He's a magnificent deer. Yeah, I, I don't See them does were headed towards coming towards the floor. Uh, but uh, them bucks ain't coming towards the floor. She's five or six maybe this year. Well, she don't she don't care about you no does. Do you see her run? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Run around. yeah, so it's recording now. I'm going to cycle through the different heat signatures on this. Yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to just show from out here first. Now the red looks weird to me, like seeing the animal in red, yeah. but I mean it still works pretty good. I guess if you had like a a darker, right. we'll see. So guys, there is about, I don't know, there's a whole lot of inches of buck up there, but where they've already shed their velvet, you can't see, there's a couple of them. Let's see where you magnify this. It's this one right here. Turn this damn thing off. There we go. So the red, you can actually see antlers better when you put it on that red mode that I was telling you about. Yeah. The white hot. Well, yeah, see so there's... You can definitely still see. Yeah, that big buck on the right. Yep. 
His are still glowing hot, and then there's a yielding down to the left of him walking this way. Yep. Oh, I forget you have yours. <laughs> you can see the same thing I can. And it's kind of crazy how a lot of you can barely see any antlers on now. So the elk, I'm assuming, well, no, I can't assume. So the two on the left, I can't see antlers. The one with its head down, like at the feeder by the gate, Yeah. I can sort of make out his antlers. The one in the back, I can't tell. Yeah, so the cow's on the far left, right in the corner behind the gate. Okay, that's what I thought. Gate. Yep. The other three are all bulls. But I mean, it's you can perfectly make out. The, oh. Like I could tell the difference between that than if it was like a you know a dog or something. So this works perfect. Now, if I didn't know like what you had out here, I wouldn't be able to tell those were elk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look through this can th through it, but I would be able to tell the difference between like somebody's dog or oh, a cow. Yeah. Sure. You could definitely tell they're not cows. All right, let's let me cycle those heat signatures real quick. The elk with the different. That real big non typical, or not that, but that non typical that I sold, he still got his velvet on, and it's funny, you can see the bottom half of his antlers. Yep. He's like on the far left, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yep. That's why I was just looking at it. <clears throat> it's almost like he's only got part of an yeah. antler. <laughs> the main beams are still, you know, the main beam still has some heat in it, but all the time it don't. Yeah, there was that one great big one, like right in the middle of the group. He's like, looks like he's probably chewing, like, Itching yeah. or something? Yeah, that's a that's one of those two year olds. He's still in velvet. His brother just shed yesterday. That's wild. And it's crazy how, like, I mean, as big as we know sandstone is, you couldn't even tell from a doe right now. Yeah. Because the he's uh, the third one from the left. But if you look to the far right, he's the third one. Well, there's a little, little wild deal. He's looking right straight where he just turned his head to the right. If you go to that little yielding on the far right and count back, one, two, three, you know, there's a couple more big ones out there than all that. See, like, almost in the back? Yeah, he's in the back looking to the right. Yep, so it's weird. I can see him. his antlers almost look, like, dark to me. Yeah, they are. They're, they're pretty dark even with it. Well, they're dark now because they're getting cold. Oh, that and makes like, sense. They're not nearly as hot as his body. Yeah, even the ones next to him now, I can pick up a little bit of the... Yeah. Like, it looks like there's nothing on their head, and then all of a sudden there's antlers above them. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that's cool. So that yearling that's walking to the right, still got a lot of heat in his. That real clean, typical. Yeah. He's got his head down now. He's kind of looking, looking at us, but his head's down. All right. That's awesome. So this thing does work pretty well.